Hello everyone and welcome to what I thought were the top 5 plays of Angry Games 5 Weekend 2 where we saw 16 more teams get eliminated from the tournament. Starting off at number 5 we have Lawrence C. Winston of Nanofiber Tokens who successfully survived an attack by healer drones and then made a clutch save on one of his allies. Lawrence Clifton choosing to just burn away, try to get out of the uh, drone control range. Um, and he does. Those uh, drones no longer going after Lawrence from the turbo feed side. Now we see a damage swap over to the Slepnir of Mark <laughs> for CSM 17, um, taking what appears to be some damage, but now the Gila of... Wow, Dan it looks like they got the Hyena. It's down in low hull. Can they pilot away from these drones and not die? 1% hull left! He gets a shield boost off the semi trying to say, hey, here's a little bit more life. Stay in this match as long as possible. But here comes Turbo's drones. He is not longing for this world. He has to heat his prop and nah, stay away from them. Yeah, no, Azura will live. He's heating his micro warp drive, and those drones are getting trekked off of him. Up next at number four, we have Pajola Capital Supremacy securing an upset victory over Vault B in the final seconds of their match. Yeah, they're going for the Lushak, which is, um, I don't quite get that given how incredibly uh, low the time is. And the Pontifex is also taking a lot of damage. And if he goes down, the lead will switch. I mean, uh, I'm going to say it was a, a lucky jam cycle there from uh, Sam and the Widow onto the Guardian. So we're going to see that Pontifex go down, which is going to be putting Vault on the back foot. They're going to have to look to make some plays happen here in the last couple of seconds of this match. It's not looking good for them right now. Um, I'm not sure what they can really do to grab this back. It looks like Pajola is probably going to be able to secure a victory over them. Yeah, they'd have to get like uh, four wrecking shots in a row on this Guardian, which doesn't seem to happen and the match is over. And so Pajola wins there, uh, 19 to 13. Um... Coming in at number three, we have only need two comps clawing their way back after an early Logi loss in a nail biter of a fight. Yeah, and you know they're focusing right now on uh, on the art of the. APAC of Alaska of Esports Topia, um, while Tim Barron is getting dangerously low in armor right now, um, as well as Striker and the Tyrannus. Um, Alaska is taking it is taking some DPS, but it just isn't enough right now. Oh, and Tim Barron is down. He is down, folks. We have a real, real big match here go, uh, happen. I don't know if they're going to be able to uh, capitalize back on that. They really need that Laji to keep their just Draugr. Needs to be kept alive. Everything on the field. His Draugr is just chunking down. You know, Grunt Kato, he, you know, he's an excellent, excellent uh, PvP on TQ, um, and obviously it shows here uh, in in the arena here. So uh, it, it'll, you know, it would be, it'll take a miracle for uh, him to, uh, you know, not be able to just kite around and tank this Brooks Navy issue. Um, I, I mean, he know, doesn't though, even have to shoot it. On, he has been firing off his newt for basically this entire match. He's been firing his guns and he's been MWD. There's a chance he could be out of charges. And if he's out of charges, it's going well, to be true. so hard for him to keep that, those reps sustained. You can see that that attack bar on Esports Potopia, it's still pretty big. He's still applying a lot of the oh, damage here to... Brunix is dead. Oh, wow. Did he... What I think he boundaried. Yeah, he boundaried. Oh, yeah, he oh, boundaried. No. <laughs> Our penultimate play at number two is Alice Hakate dodging tackle and kiting back in order to give his team the room they need to kill the enemy logistics. At the same time, though, uh, we can see that Alice Hakate in the Brutix is also dipping very low here in structure now. Yeah, it seems like this is going to be a trade, uh, possibly, and uh, losing your Osprey uh, and only Largy is a big deal, but uh, the Brutix seems to be going down first. Yeah, the uh, the Org Navy here of um, Thorian is chasing down the Osprey, and it looks like that's going to drop. It's going to be close, then there it goes. Yeah, Alice uh, actually stabilizing in 6% structure as they uh, swap some of their damage down to Lady Labia and the Harbinger Navy, who is uh, losing his shield, and onto Brainstraw. And in no surprise for those of you who watched the tournament live last weekend, number one belongs to Rifazen, who made not one, not two, but three critical MJD plays to carry his team to victory against Nanofiber Tokens. They should be able to slap this Blackbird no matter where it sits on the grid, and it's going to be a question of whether or not Parkbank in that Guardian can keep him alive. You can see drones going out here, getting applied to things, but just getting... Oh my god, is that an MJD play from Rifazen? 
He's yeah, sitting he's in the middle of the back lines. In the middle of the background and back line here, and he's ready to put his uh, newts on to anything within range and put massive disruption on the nanofiber token team. That happened so quickly, I didn't even see it. Look at him. He's on top of that Osprey, newting out and webbing it down. He, and it's going down quickly here. It's not going to be able to escape. He's going to be able to take the logistics off the field almost immediately here from the, the Nanofiber Tokens team. And they're not even putting DPS on it because all of their drones are sitting on pi uh, Pice in that Mala. Yeah, Lawrence Winston is uh, not long for this world. And if this pays off, this might actually be the play of the tournament so far. Wow, what an incredible opening there for Paper Numbers. It, yeah, there we go. That's the Osprey down. Now all of these ships from Nanofobia Tokens, they need to scatter out. They need to make sure that they don't get caught and die alongside their uh, their friend there. But it looks like Tyson Aardvark, he's been caught as well by this uh, Balgorn. He's not going to have any injectors. And with a couple of cycles of his newts, he's not going to have any hardness either. Look at how fast his shield is dropping. Yeah. yeah, practically all of the DPS that's applying here from Paper Numbers is their own drones, which are just swarming over, just trying to tickle away at the Nanofiber Tokens team. We've got five minutes left on the match here, but Nanofiber Tokens, they can't just kite this one out. They need to land kills here if they want to win the match, especially as Chadwick looks like he's finally getting applied to again as, oh my god, Roferson's made another play. He's MJD right next to Chadwick. Yeah, he's certainly going to show off the Tech Tomb and Matar Shield oh, another, another MJD player there from Riferson, just to land beside him. <laughs> yeah, he's hoping to get those webs on to um, Ovix, and oh my you can see his uh, speed dropping down below uh, 300 meters per second as we speak. Oh my god, what an absolute Chad move there. He is going for that MVP. He's going for the MVP. He's going for the plays of the weekend. He's going for every single award that's up for grabs, I've got to say. Except for dying quickly in a battleship, I guess. All right, if you enjoyed what you saw here, tune in next weekend at twitch.tv ccp for the exciting conclusion to Anger Games 5. I'll see you there.